Why should I trellis net? Why should I scrog a screen of green? Well, this is why. You're going to get more pot. I've topped these once, so I don't have Christmas trees, I have bushes. Then I top them again, and that gives me double the amount of tops. So what I've done is I've gently placed the screen down, You can or the scrog. This is like a $7 uh, four by eight uh, trellis net I picked up at the local grow store. You can order them online. I've hung them with zip ties on my posts. You're looking at like eight, nine dollars total. And after I laid it down, I pulled it down over them a little bit and I bent my branches down and then pulled them up under it. And now they're growing up this way. So this will kind of hold them down. What it also does is it opens my plant up, not only for more air movement, but more of my tops are going to get more of the light. This, for instance, would not have got enough light before this one. Uh, they would have been those sort of buds you turn into Keith at the, the middle of the plant. Uh, they would have been blocked from a lot of the light. Now they're all fully exposed. I've also got a nice, almost even two-dimensional field where, the, where I can place the lumens right at about 25 inches away, and bam, there I go. This one got away from me. That's Granddaddy Purple. It was a week older when I got it, so there wasn't a whole lot I could do about it. Um, that's Granddaddy Purple. That's Jack Rare. That's Northern Wreck. And you can also see I've lollipop them. Uh, I've taken out all the stuff that's below the canopy. I don't want it taking from the plant. Now you don't do that in flower. You have to do that at least a week before you're going to flower them. You need the plant to recover. Uh, there's many things that help with stress. Um, I use one that's basically silica and potassium. I don't want to tell you what kind it is. I don't want to endorse anything. Uh, I could be wrong. There are other growers that know a lot more than I do. So just do your homework on it. A quick Google will, will uh, get you going pretty well. So that'll kind of get you up to par. But I trellis because I get more pot. If you have a seven foot tent, which I have the one foot extension, uh, mine's eight you can really squeeze a lot into that short space. It's, it's the only way to do it. It's, it's a much, much better way. These are also all supported. As soon as these start sagging, I'll tie them down with twist ties and I'll make sure that they all stay up here. And then bam, I've got this great two dimensional field. You can see all the way through the bottom, I've got great air movement. I, have, I don't have any bugs. Uh, leaves are where bugs hide. So if you have too many, you know, you're, you're asking for trouble. Uh, moisture. I don't have any problem with moisture, powdered mildew, and this will help prevent that. And so yeah, four plants here. I'm probably going to get a pound off of this, close to it. Uh, I could do that in one plant. You know, if you put, these are smart pots, 10 gallon smart pots. If you put a 20 gallon smart pot in there, you can, and you veg for longer, you can grow it up very tall and then bend it down a long ways and put that screen over it and you'll have a whole screen of green. All the branches will be exposed and you'll get a lot of bud off of it. You get, I mean, theoretically, you can get a pound off a plant, no problem. Uh, it's kind of uncommon, but people do it. So yeah, $8, a little bit of time and effort and uh, a little bit of planning and away I go. Got some CO2 boxes going in there. I doubled it up and yeah, we're off and going. So these are gonna be really good. I'm actually very excited about them. All right, guys, I'm going to smoke pot and jerk off. You guys take it easy.